on everybody well got a few more upgrades on the capper here uh, figure I'd give it a shot before I start uh, moving some concrete again so last night I ended up putting the uh, Fusion SE 1200 KV in here um, I did have to shave down uh, the rear passenger side lower link or that would be the upper link mount <clears throat> uh, because this can's a little bit longer than a 540 and I also uh, used the spacer to uh, put up underneath of the uh, that screw there basically just to rotate the uh, transmission a little bit and get the motor up just a little bit higher on that side but everything clears so that's all good um, I also got some uh, brass beadlock clamp rings uh, put those in all four tires just to add a little bit more weight to kind of offset the uh, cage since this thing's pretty top heavy and uh, I also went ahead and did my uh, I don't know if you'd be able to see it very well or not but I've got a little bungee strap wrapped around the top links and up into the cage uh, basically my little homemade shock limiting straps just to on the vertical climbs to kind of help keep that front end sucked down uh, so that it doesn't unload and tip over backwards as bad other than that uh, everything else is still the same pretty well stock um, I haven't gotten my overdrive gears or my other lights yet hopefully this will be here today so we're still running no overdrive yet but we'll get another video on that uh, once I get those installed so we'll give this thing a little rip around the pit and uh, kind of compare it to how it was the other day and see how it does and hopefully we won't get bothered by the neighbors too much today so see how she does Slippery. Ah, uh, I see. One of my big uh, vertical pieces of concrete here would be the one on the power, the driver's side of the rig. I'm guessing one of the cows bumped into it. It's sitting at a goofy angle now. But we'll still get the job done. Just for reference, I'll go ahead and show what I was talking about here. So, this piece of concrete, actually, this end used to sit a little more this direction. It was actually pretty well even across here. And used to sit a little further in this way it looks like it got bumped into and definitely looks like I got some broken boards so I don't know how long this obstacle is going to last which isn't really a big deal um, I've been needing a bunch of the smaller pieces of concrete that I got here for other things anyways so we'll just let the uh, cows keep doing their job and tearing things up and then I'll relocate everything but we got to cross it we'll move on Well, 
they're moving in. This could get interesting. Yep. Also, I'm trying out a new camera today, so we're going to see how uh, everything goes on that front. I'm sure that the video quality may be a little bit worse, but it should be a lot easier to uh, record everything, especially with this four-wheel steer rig where I can't really hold the camera and drive at the same time. And that's how everything gets busted around here. They treat this place like a jungle gym. Uh, freaking critters. Oh, it's tearing my stuff up. Do you mind? I'm trying to do something here. Unless you're going to start flipping this thing over when I roll it. Quit pooping over here. Go on now. Damn, you climbed that hill quicker than I can. Ugh. Freaking hooligans. Tell you what, I've never really been a fan of hobby wing, uh, mostly because they didn't have the uh, programming options that Castle did, um, and I really like the option to be able to uh, program my own throttle curve. So that's why I never really ran any hobby wing uh, motors and ESCs but uh, since I started putting everything on this fly sky system uh, I can set up throttle expo on everything which is basically the same thing as uh, throttle curve so I figured I'd give this fusion a shot I've uh, never really heard anything bad about them, so I can tell you one thing for the crappy gearing that this capper has this uh I just got charged are we gonna have problems? huh? You're killing my vibe here. Oh, you mess with my Mountain Dew and I'm having hamburgers for dinner. Goodness gracious. What's your deal? Why you gotta tear up all my stuff? Huh? What are you tearing it up for? Acting all crazy and whatnot. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted, this uh, Fusion seems to be doing a really good job at taming this uh, capper gearbox with uh, not a whole lot of gear reduction. Pretty impressed with it so far. I've also never been a real big fan of the uh, FOC driving experience, but uh, definitely for slow crawl and definitely with this four wheel steer rig, I'm kind of liking it. My goodness, they are rambunctious today. But at 
at least on this rig, having that FOC really lets me uh, focus on my wheel placement more so than uh, paying attention to the throttle inputs. I can just go ahead and keep it at a real slow crawl without having to modulate anything. Hey! Trying to make a video over here. Shut up! This thing is coming along nicely for no longer than I've had it. I'm really digging it. So we'll go up hard line over here and uh, see if my upgrades helped me or hurt me. Uh, between all the extra weight and my little redneck suspension tuning. Hopefully it'll do better. They're trying to get sneaky. They already knocked my Mountain Dew over. Now look here. I only brought one with me. You ruin it and we really got problems. Goodness gracious. You know... If I wasn't used to this, I would say they're trying to gang up on me here. This almost looks like an intimidation tactic. Mmm, steaks! Double cheeseburger! Roast beef! Sometimes it gets boring up here. You got to entertain yourself. <laughs> okay. Back to business until I get interrupted again. I'm not sure exactly where I left off talking wise, but. We'll just see what happens here. say I never thought that I would have this much fun running four-wheel steer and I figured it'd be fun but I had no idea and I will say the drag brake on this fusion is freaking awesome People use the term electronic anchor before, and uh, I definitely agree. It's still got all the uh, default settings out of the box. I haven't went in and hooked the program card up to it yet. I might not have to. doing very well. Oh my goodness, that turning radius is phenomenal. Uh, 
Okay, we'll get moved up to the top and go for the goal. So for those of you who have seen videos before here, uh, oh, you'll know that this is the hardest spot that I've got up here in the pit. And there's only a couple vehicles that have ever made this climb. And the first day that I brought this thing out here, it made the climb. Um, I did have to fight for it for several minutes, but I did end up getting it. Sad part is, I do not remember what line I took to get up. But that looks like a winner right there. And I can already tell you that my my limiting strap situation on my shocks definitely is helping. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Man, this thing is awesome. So that brass and uh, keeping that front end sucked down. That's a golden ticket right there. That is awesome. Now we'll see if it, uh, if I lost any uh, descent capabilities with all that extra weight. Does not appear to be so. I think I've got this thing just about where I want it for the time being. It's doing awesome. Definitely a lot better than what it was the other day. And it was still pretty awesome the other day already. But, uh, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to have to, uh, do a head-to-head -head comparison video here before too long. I'm kind of thinking this thing might be, uh, be the new king up here. Granted, it's not exactly fair since this thing's got uh, the extra steering capabilities, but in the grand scheme of things, it's nice to know what rig is the most capable out of the whole fleet. See if we can get a better view up here, what's going on? for I would say the longest time but basically ever since I got the uh, the Ecto it's been the undisputed king up here and uh, I'm thinking this thing might have it beat Mm -hmm. 
It's just taking on everything. And doing it with ease. And the fact that it's doing everything this easy, um, that's why I'm going to have to start moving some concrete around. I've got to start making some harder obstacles. Because uh, this thing's just tearing them all up. And that is a good problem to have. I've noticed that this fusion system has got kind of a, a jitter to it when you're rolling over obstacles like that. Those pavers there. Uh, at least when you're at a real low RPM. Not sure if it's because the gearing is so tall on the Capra. If it's a little bit of a cogging or something. Or if it's just that FOC searching for its position, trying to keep the RPMs matched, but it's not terrible. Like everything else is just so quiet that I can actually hear it most of the time. I've got louder ESCs or louder motors. Especially in the the Gapra build that I got, uh, that Outrunner and the Sidewinder 4, that's just an absolute screamer. And I've got to say, I think that this thing is right there in the same bracket with that thing so far as uh, low speed control. And for a lot cheaper of a price tag as well. Um, we'll see how this does over uh, long term use. Uh, that's going to get used a lot. Uh, this is definitely I think my new favorite rig but uh, if this thing holds up I think, uh, I think I'm going to end up getting a couple more of these things. For 80 bucks, you can't beat that. So it's like when when it loads and unloads it, it's got that jittery sound to it it's almost the same jittery sound as when you have uh, have the ESC 70 set up wrong uh, it's just a little a little less violent of a jitter with this thing this camera might actually be easier to uh, hold and four-wheel steer at the same time. This might be doable. It's still a little awkward holding it like this, but it's a lot easier than holding the uh, iPhone and trying to do it. I've just got a little budget action camera uh, similar 
in design to the uh, GoPros. I'm really hoping that the video quality turns out decent on this. I don't have the highest hopes in the world, but uh, had pretty good reviews. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully it works out because, uh, well, that would save an awful lot of uh, use and abuse on my phone, that's for sure. Man, are the stink bugs really bad where y'all live? Because in the last few days they have gotten horrible here. I just love that slow, slow crawl. This thing will go so slow you can't hardly even tell it's moving. Let's see if I went too far off the broken edge here. Oh yeah. Hadn't really tested my luck to see how far to the right that I could go. We'll crab over a little bit. There we go. Just one more thing that the cows have broken around here. Okay, so this is the first spot that uh, I've noticed a real big difference on keeping that front end sucked down. Got a better shot of the bungee cords there. I didn't hit on the skid this bad the other day. So, there's definitely give and take uh, on everything you do with these. And uh, if I gotta reduce my break over just a little bit better to make this thing more stable on the vertical climbs. I'm good with it. That drag brake is awesome. things to pay attention to here holding the camera and driving all right do uh, do one more Obstacle here, and uh, and we'll call it a day on this thing, probably, um, unless I get a new obstacle built relatively quick and decide I want to run it. Uh, this obstacle here. I went a little more in depth on it a couple videos ago, but there's not much to it, but you have got to have your your line set up just right, and you've got to have your suspension set up just right to be able to make this with the, getting over the gap of death up here. Steers almost cheating on this one. Oh, got a little hung up 
there on that axle though. Tough little obstacle for no more than what it is. Oh. I didn't hit that right this time. thinking that uh, I'm kind of screwing myself trying to use the four-wheel steer when getting up on there side all the way across and that is a deep hole that can get out of hand real quick so. yep I think we'll go ahead and call that for this round of crawling and uh, I think I'm going to run down and grab a something to drink come back up here and start uh, moving some concrete around I just put this little bridge up last night I only had a half hour before sunset so I didn't have a whole lot of time to do anything real extravagant or crazy but I did want I'm probably going to end up having a little island right here where you can come down off of a bridge and then I may end up having uh, a little driveway a flat ground right through the middle and then I'll probably almost mirror this over here um, probably try to move that concrete more this direction We'll see what happens. Uh, there's an awful lot of large concrete chunks over here and I'm not really feeling like getting a sledgehammer out and breaking concrete today. So we'll see what all I can get moved and stacked by hand. Um, because literally everything out here has been by hand. Uh, I don't have any machinery. Uh, available to me to bring up here so that's what I'm working with but anyways I'm real happy with the way that this thing is uh, coming together couldn't ask for any better for no more than what I put into this thing so far It is an amazing machine. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. 
and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.